sure all of you must have your own special uh, favorite rice pudding. Let me show you uh, Indian rice pudding. What I mean is rice pudding with a little bit of spices. Spices don't always have to make things hotter or pungent, so to say. Sometimes the spices accentuate the sugar and makes it even sweeter. <laughs> so let's make the uh, rice pudding Indian style known as kheer. So for this recipe, what I'm going to use is basmati rice. Now basmati rice is a rice which is uh, typically grown in India. It's very fragrant. The name itself, basmati, means queen of fragrance. If you get used to this rice, you will never touch any other rice. Trust me, it's an addiction. Once you get used to basmati rice, you don't eat any other rice. For this recipe, let's uh, go ahead and uh, it's a very simple one. You add about a teaspoon of rice, a tablespoon of sugar, and a cupful of milk. So if you were to add about, uh, if you were to have five cups of milk, add five tablespoons of sugar and five teaspoons of rice. And then cook it really well for about 30 minutes. When you are cooking this, you have to keep stirring it, otherwise the milk can burn down and you have to remember to take a thick bottom pan. But a good uh, suggestion would be to keep stirring it for 30 minutes. After it's stirred, well, a little, let me give you another variation of the same rice pudding. If you were to add raisins, it gives a good flavor too. Now, with raisins, it tastes different. Without raisins, it tastes different. So, I'm giving you two recipes for the rice pudding. What you get after 30 minutes of cooking is something like this. The milk condensed uh, is, uh, gets thickens up and the rice gets cooked and then the spices that you add for this is cardamom pods. Cardamom pods are these green pods which have these fragrant seeds in them here and you crush them slightly so it releases more flavor. You get white cardamom pods and green cardamom pods but I would suggest use green cardamom pods. They are more flavorful than the white. The white ones are just bleached variety of the green cardamom. And use a motor or pestle, motor and pestle, and just go ahead and put it in. And another spice which I like to add is nutmeg. Please buy a whole nutmeg and grate it whenever you want. It makes a big difference in your uh, flavor for the food. So go ahead and add a little bit of nutmeg and you can mix it well as a final garnish um, well not a really a final garnish but what I really like to add is saffron now if you add saffron while cooking this pudding it tastes different if you were to add it at the end of this uh, cooking it's different if you add it at the end of the cooking process, it just gives a very mild flavor. So if you're not sure whether your family will really like saffron, the flavor of saffron, it's a good idea just to add it at the end. And then the final garnish of some pistachio. The green goes well with this white uh, kheer or the rice pudding. It gives a wonderful crunch to this. Um, recipe here and just put a little bunch of the right of the saffron in between here you have a wonderful rice pudding made with milk sugar rice and some spices like cardamom pods saffron nutmeg and little garnish of uh, pistachio rice pudding with a difference.